Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making creamy cheesy potato bake. Okay guys, I'm starting out here in a bowl and I'm going to add in two third cups of milk. This is just whole milk. Alright, now I'm also going to add in three quarters of a cup of heavy cream. I'm going to go ahead and measure this out. Now I normally don't measure too often guys, but something like this, you don't want to get too much in because you'll get it too uh, soupy. Alright. Now I'm going to add in one third cup of mayonnaise. And this I'm just going to eyeball, guys. And you want to use whole egg mayonnaise. All right, that's looking good right there. All right, now I'm also going to add in, this calls for two large garlic cloves, but I have the already chopped garlic here. I'm just going to put a heaping teaspoon in. All right, now I'm going to add in some thyme leaves. It's calling for about a teaspoon and a half of fresh thyme leaves. I'm just going to go ahead and put some in here. And guys, what I did is I used this thyme before, and I didn't need it all, so I froze it so it keeps. It comes in a little pack. You can just freeze it. You could also use, let me grab that out of there. You can also use dry thyme if you want, guys. Okay, now I'm going to add in three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. And this is a nice recipe on a cold day, and it's really getting chilly here in Pennsylvania. I'm going to add in some black pepper, and this is to taste. I'm going to go for about half a teaspoon. All right, now I'm going to add in two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. And I have that right over here. And this I'm just eyeballing, guys, because you know my motto, more cheese, more better. So if I go over a little bit, no big deal. Okay, now I'm going to take my spoon that I put that mayonnaise in with, and I'm going to give this a stir to mix everything together. All right, guys, now that I have my cream mixture mixed together in my Copper Chef, and I'm using this, if you use a casserole pan, just grease it, spray it with some cooking spray. I have three pounds of russet potatoes that I diced up. I'm going to go ahead and dump my cream mixture in over top of this. You can see all that yummy, delicious cheese in there. And I'm just going to blend this together real quick. I'm just going to hit this real quick with a little bit of accent. This part's optional, but accent makes everything better. Alright. Now I'm going to put a lid on this, and I'm going to cook this in a 400 degree oven for 45 minutes. Then we're going to pull it out, we're going to put more cheese on it and put it back in. Alright guys, now that my 45 minutes are up, I took this out, I'm going to top with some uh, shredded Parmesan cheese, or grated Parmesan cheese. Just a nice healthy coating on there. And we're going to put this back in that 400 degree oven uncovered for 15 minutes to allow the top of it to get nice and browned up. And then when I take it, I'm going to let it rest for about 10 minutes for everything to set up. After it's done setting up, I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys, this is done. I left it rest for about 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and fix up a plate and see what we got. I went ahead and I garnished potatoes with a little bit of parsley for color, and I made some cube steak with a red wine cream sauce to go with this. So let me get in here and try the potatoes. Nice and tender, very flavorful, well seasoned. You can taste the uh, garlic coming through, the Parmesan cheese. They're really good and creamy, guys. I'll take a taste of this uh, cube steak for you. That's really good, and that red wine cream sauce is really intense in flavor. That's really delicious. All right, there you have it, guys. Creamy, cheesy potato bake. Give it a try. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see you.